Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're tackling a common travel dilemma. Should I fold or should I roll my clothes when packing a suitcase? So I'm gonna use this pile of clothes and in this case, I'm going to be folding them and in this case, I'm going to be rolling them. Let's find out which method is more efficient and space saving. We're also gonna set a timer just to see if rolling or folding is much quicker than the other. Let's start with the boxes. So let's see what we've got left. We've got some socks, a thick jumper, a thinner jumper and two shirts. And now I'm going to see how much space I've got left in this section of the case because I'm loving that we've got all this space left on this side for everything else we might want to pack. So let's see, we've got a bit of space in between so I could put some more clothes in here. I could potentially lay the shirts on top as well. So let's keep going. So let me talk through how to fold a shirt. It's very similar to how to fold a jumper, but there's just one little detail that I want you to, to know about. So we lay it flat and then we fold in the sides. So you can fold it in half and then put that on top of everything you've folded. The less fold you do on a shirt, the better, because the less ironing you'll have to do. Shirts crease a lot more easily than other clothes. If you need to fold it smaller, folding up from the bottom and then making sure your final fold supports the collar just here, because that's the bit we want to support. And then you can slot it in on the top. Nice space for them here. Let's see if this zips up. Seventeen, coming up to eighteen minutes. Okay, let's move on to our roll and see if this is any quicker and saves any more space. Let's set the timer. So we're going to fold the shorts in half, fold them in half again, and then roll them up. So it can do two layers with the folds with the smaller items because there's less height to the roll. These I would roll anyway because they're thicker material, so they work better with a roll. We're going to have to move to the other side. Let's 
see how I've used the same fold there for the shorts and the underwear. got two shirts left so let's see if they'll fit on the top nice and flat but as a fold not a roll we cannot roll a shirt because the collar needs to stay folded so we're not gonna roll those and our timer says 11 minutes, 18 seconds. So what do we think? Well, the folding definitely allowed me to organize the clothes into categories better. By the end of the rolling, I was stuffing those clothes wherever I could find a space. The rolling was great because it allowed for two levels of clothing in the smaller items, and that would be great if you're using a standard packing cube. In terms of space saving, well, you saw that folding and rolling took up exactly the same amount of space in the suitcase, so yeah, that test is tested. It's the same. So can everyone stop asking me that question now? Because it just proved my own point. But when it came to time saving, the rolling was clearly quicker than the folding. So if you're looking to save time, then I would recommend rolling your way to a packed suitcase. And there was one last thing that I want you to remember. The only thing we don't roll is a shirt because we want to protect the collars. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please like and subscribe if you want, but come back for another packing video because I'm about to film three more after this. Bye.